Good morning. I'm Mariah Hada from Patriot Majority USA Stop the Greed Agenda Bus Tour. Thank you so much for joining us. It's wonderful to be in Columbus. It's actually great for me to be back in Ohio. I'm a, a native of Lorain County, grew up in Oberlin, and my parents are still in the area, so I'm happy to be back here in Ohio. We are here today to talk about the Koch Brothers Greed Agenda. The Koch Brothers, as you know, are mega millionaires who have decided to put a lot of their own money where their mouths are. They are trying to basically make our country their country. They have decided this year alone to put in $400 million on a greed agenda that will weaken America. As we know here in Ohio, many of the uh, leadership of the governor's party and the governor himself have very close ties to the Cokes. He has been very close with ALEC since its formative years and he has supported very openly and in some ways successfully ALEC's agenda, uh, weakening consumer rights, providing funds for public part, uh, pro for profit charter schools, and requiring employees um, to conduct e-verify background checks on prospective employees, employers to uh, provide those background checks on prospective employees. The GREED agenda includes a vast array of issues that the Koch brothers would like to use to take over your lives. Um, they're trying to suppress the vote in many states, such as Ohio. They are trying to take away uh, veterans' benefits, lower wages for working class Americans, um, uh, privatize Medicare and Social Security, while taking the, making their own huge tax cuts for themselves and their friends. So we are here to bring, from the Patriot Majority USA, a little light on what they're doing since they've been so good at it. And today we have a great array of speakers. I'm going to introduce you to Brian Rothenberg from Progress Ohio, who is hosting us today. And Brian's going to talk a little bit more about the Koch brothers, their agenda, how it is affecting Ohioans like you. Brian? Thank you, Maria. Uh, I want to thank Patriot Majority for uh, coming today. Um, there is no better antidote to deal with greed than public awareness. And uh, what we are doing today, and the big bus that sits in front of this um, building today, is a moving billboard to tell people about this greed agenda. What does a greed agenda mean in Ohio? Well, folks, I had a three-hour meeting yesterday about fracking in Ohio. A greed agenda in that case, and it's just one case, means permits that the public has no ability to comment on. It means a health department that doesn't do cancer cluster studies or any other kind of health cluster studies to tell us if there's dangers in the community. It means understaffed state facilities so that we don't know what is going to contaminate the water in this new industry. It means secrecy in the case of fracking so that we don't know what chemicals are being pumped into the ground in a state where we just had 11 earthquakes in Youngstown, Ohio. A greed agenda takes us back to the 19th century in terms of our regulation, in terms of our laws, and it starts with ALEC, which is a Koch Brothers pushed agenda item. ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, has been put together to put corporations sitting side by side by legislators so that those corporations can influence the legislation that is put into law in the different states. It is so pervasive that research that we've done and previously released talks about how scheduling in the Ohio House is even made around ALEC. Legislative agendas are made around ALEC's agenda. The head of the PUCO in this state sat on the ALEC utility board, chaired it with corporations. It means less protection for the public. It means pervasive 
defensive activity that you have to do just to do basic things like protect people's rights to vote, it means that we as a society have to defend all of the gains that we've made in the environment, in our financial industry, in public records, in public scrutiny, in protecting wages, in protecting benefits, in making sure people have health care, in making sure older people are taken care of. The ALEC agenda, the Koch brothers agenda, is what you heard in the Mitt Romney video when he described 47% of this country that he doesn't care about. Because they don't care. It is a greed agenda. It is about their corporate interests only. This is bigger than just this presidential election and presidential election season, folks. This is about our future. It's about where our nation was in the 19th century and all of what happened in the 20th century. All of those gains, even under Republican presidents, It's about sliding back to a point where greed and corporate profit means more than your health, more than your rights, more than your voting rights. And that's why it's more than just a bus. So, I want to welcome Patriot Majority, and I want to make sure that people understand that this is an important event. Because while everybody else is arguing over issues of the day, that bus is reminding us of what we face as a society outside this, these doors. Thank you, thank you, Brian. Next, we have Bentley Davis from the Ohio Alliance for Retired Americans. Bentley, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Um, well, you've heard about the Koch brothers' plans for, uh, for Ohio from Brian, um, which is scary enough. But what they have in store for Ohio seniors specifically, uh, I think, takes the cake. Uh, and I'm a, representing a senior uh, organization. Uh, you aren't surprised, probably, when you hear of a politician or a lobbying group say they won't privatize Medicare or Social Security anymore. Uh, these systems seniors rely on for basic health care needs and ba basic living. Uh, but the Koch brothers have really put their money where their mouths are. The Koch's biggest, most well-known groups all advocate for privatizing these important federal systems. The Koch brothers-backed Cato Institute and the Heritage Foundation call for partially privatizing Social Security by diverting Social Security taxes into privately managed retirement accounts. That kind of plan would certainly line the pockets of Wall Street banks. But it wouldn't do much for the bank accounts of middle class Ohioans whose savings would be put at risk. Americans for Prosperity backed the budget that would transform Medicare into a voucher system, raise the eligibility age, and reduce prescription drug coverage. A study done by the nonpartisan Center for Budget and Policy Priorities said this plan would leave seniors without access to health care and they would pay more to boot. The Koch, brother, the Koch brothers backed ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, also wants to privatize Medicare by permitting the creation of individual medical accounts. This might sound like a good idea, but in reality, those accounts wouldn't be able to cover the cost of medical care. In the end, they'd probably just be used by the wealthiest few as a tax shelter because they may need more of these. We've seen Koch-backed candidates and lobbying groups talk about getting rid of all defined benefits, including health care. But maybe what, what is worst of all is their cuts to veteran services. The budget backed by the Kochs, ironically named Americans for Prosperity, would cut $11 billion from veteran spending, or 13% from uh, the Obama proposed budget. And Americans for Prosperity has called on Congress to cut at least $1.1 billion 
from the VA appropriations and military construction. Instead, it hopes to, that actual cuts would go even further. So can I just ask a question? What, it, what is wrong with these folks? Uh, cutting money from veterans programs to line their own pockets, it's not just wrong, it's anti-American.